Let's wrap up this special relativity chapter with a couple of formulas for relativistic momentum and relativistic kinetic energy. Let's start with momentum. The momentum P of a relativistic particle that has a mass m is equal to gamma mv. And what's nice about this formula is that if v is very small in front of c and therefore relativity can be safely ignored, then gamma is approximately equal to 1, and then P is pretty much mv, which is the formula we were using in classical mechanics for momentum. So that's nice. Note, however, that because the limit as v approaches c of gamma is equal to plus infinity, it follows that in magnitude the limit of P as v approaches c is also plus infinity which means that if you have a particle of mass m that's at rest, you actually cannot accelerate it to a speed v is equal to c. It will require an infinite amount of energy, and it's impossible. You can get reasonably close, but you can't actually reach v is equal to c. So that's for momentum. Moving on to relativistic kinetic energy. Kinetic energy k is going to be given by this formula here, which once you simplify it as much as you can, it comes out to be equal to gamma minus 1 times mc squared. And the term that you subtract here in the formula, the minus mc squared, is actually the rest energy that's getting subtracted. And so the rest energy is E rest is equal to mc squared, meaning that a particle of mass m, because it is at rest, and because it has mass, has an energy of mc squared. And so as long as it's at rest, that's the energy that it has. Kinetic energy is the energy due to motion in excess of that. And so if we take k as gamma minus 1 mc squared, and we add back the rest energy mc squared, we actually get the total energy of the particle. So the total energy of a relativistic particle of mass m is e is equal to k plus e rest. So that's gamma minus 1 mc squared plus mc squared, and therefore you get gamma times mc squared. And then finally, the momentum energy equation that relates the total energy of a particle to its momentum is e squared is equal to mc squared squared plus pc squared. And what happens here, it's worth noting, when the mass is zero, which is the case for photons, then you get E is equal to PC, which in the case of photons, by the way, we've already talked about this, E equals PC is then, because P is H over lambda, equal to HC over lambda. And we already knew that. But in general, you have a relationship between the total energy and the momentum P, that's the relativistic momentum energy equation. And in the case of a particle that has no mass, then it still holds, it just simplifies to E is equal to PC. Thanks for watching this video. At Congress Academy, we create custom study guides so that you don't have to. Send us your syllabus and some old exams, and we'll put together lecture notes, practice problems with step-by-step -step solutions, and classic exam questions so that you don't waste your time. All you have to do is log in and focus on studying what matters most. And if you have questions, we're available to help. If you'd like to learn more about how Congress Academy can help you do well, check us out at congressacademy.com. We look forward to helping you. See you there.